and that way I can get this to them. OK, so back to the PowerPoint, you um, you can see there we're looking at a new artist, Ian MacArthur. All right. Um, what I have put on this PowerPoint and I'll show you where to find this PowerPoint in a minute is I've put a number of links to his website and to other websites. It's really important that when you're researching an artist, you don't just rely on one source. So you're not just looking in one place for the information about the artist. Um, and what we're going to do, you'll see a pattern on what we're doing. Last week and the week before, we were doing a research page on um, Sarah Graham, and then we did some work in her style. This week, we're going to start looking at Ian MacArthur. As I say, um, you need to make sure that you look at all these websites. They're very different. Um, some link to his work and they've got pictures of his work. Others have got a few um, bits of information about him. Others, there's like an interview, um, which is really interesting and actually answers a lot of questions that you may ask yourself when you're doing research. So, as I said on here, remember only to use the right hand side page. If you want to do a double page, that's fine. Just make sure that you're not working on the back of another piece of work. So if you are doing a double page, leave an extra page before it so that you're not working on the back of it. That way, if we did need to remount it, we can do. OK, so you will find this um, PowerPoint on Microsoft Teams. You need to get used to using Teams. Um, it is really important that you understand how to use it. I will show you in a minute where to find things. So on Microsoft Teams, I put um, in your class notebook places where you can find um, writing frames that help you look at artist work and the thing to ask questions about. They are at different levels. You are all working at different levels. Some of you are working at twos, threes, fours, fives. Some of you are going for eights and nines. The level of the writing will reflect that. So therefore, the writing frames are different. So here, as I say, these you can click on these. The links will take you straight to um, the different Ian MacArthur sites. OK, you need to look at all of those. I'm not going to go through those now. Um, this is for you to do. All right. It's not like me spoon feeding what you've got there. It's about you reading and taking the information that you think is important because it's all about ass assessment objective one in your GCSE, which is what we're working on now, is um, understanding your artist. So you've really got to look carefully. You need to make sure when you're writing, it's in your own words. And you're talking about the artwork. I don't want to know too much history about the actual artists themselves. OK, it's the artwork they're interested in, why they do what they do and how they do it, because that's what can, sh can influence your work. And the way to show understanding in GCSE is to actually be influenced by the artist that you've researched and show it in your practical work. So. Um, when I say writing in your own words, please, please, please check your spellings, particularly things like names of the artist. Um, make sure you've checked the spellings. If you are somebody who isn't confident spelling, you can always type it up, check it. And then if you want to write it in your own handwriting, if you haven't got a printer, do it that way. But at least, you know, the spelling will be correct. All right. Now, I've put some work on here, some different work for Ian MacArthur. So you've got here, you've got two portraits, but you can see they're very different. One's quite brightly coloured, the other's a lot more black and white. I've also put on some of his other work. He does a mixture uh, of things. So mixing colour with pencil and fine liner, looking at pattern. You can see on the right, um, that's Princess Leia. Um, for any of those fans, 
You've got, um, he's done celebrity portraits. When you go on his website, you will see he's got different, down the side, he breaks it down and he's got celebrities, he's got animals. Um, so you can see the different ones. So you've got David Bowie there, you've got um, a bird that he's done. He mixes realism with pattern, all right? Um, so I've just put some examples on there. When you do your artist research page, if you haven't got a printer, you need to think about the pictures you're going to include. Maybe create a publisher or a PowerPoint for the pictures you're going to include because you need to be talking about those pieces of work. All right. Um, so that is what you're going to be doing. Now, bear with me. Now, one thing I'm going to touch on while I'm here is um, a lot of you have not uploaded your work to Sarah Graham style painting. I've only had four people that have actually returned them. All right. You may have emailed it to me or whatever, but I need you to upload it um, here. OK, so. You need to be looking carefully at your assignment and uploading it to your assignment. Now, if I go on to year 10. Right, can you just confirm that you're seeing my screen now? OK, um, fantastic. So if I go on to year 10, oh, I was on it. And then I go on to the class notebook. OK, now this is where. So here on class notebook, you'll click on class notebook. And then there's like three. I look, I term them like books on a shelf. And you can see there that you've got a section for artist research. All right. So your artist research there, you've got the writing frames. So you've got there, it's how to analyze artist, key stage for writing. You may want to look at all of these. They are different. OK, um, so you've got oh, you've got the three different ways of analyzing art there. You need to look at those separately. I'm just telling you where you can find things. All right. Now, if I go. She says, hopefully. Um, go back to content library. Um, I thought, just bear with me. Well, I thought I'd put this in the notice in artist research. In the notebook, there's Ian MacArthur. So now, so can you go? Um, that's fine, Adam. Don't worry. You can still look at things through. You can still get on things on Teams on your phone. That's fine. OK, I know you can't see. It won't let you open the class notebook. Um, bear with me. I'm just trying to go on my phone to see what it comes up with. Um, you might need to download on your on your phone. You might need to download OneNote. All right, if you download OneNote, then you should um, see the work. So. 
Mohammed, you can obviously get on to it. Can you go on to the class notebook and can you see if it, in artist research you can see Ian MacArthur for me? Because in my one note, I've got that I've got in artist research, that I've got two sections, but here it hasn't added Ian MacArthur, which I need to do. You've got it, Lauren. Fantastic. Is that through one note or through Teams, Lauren? One note. OK, so you can get it through one note. Brilliant. Um, oh, it's come up. Oh, no, that's there. OK, so that will be on there. Now, the other thing I want to show you while we're here. Um, let me just. Now, bear with me a second, because I've got to make sure when we're doing this that you can hear the sound as well. Um, stop sharing that for a second. OK, brilliant. Mohammed's found it, Lauren's found it. So it is there, I'm not going mad. That's brilliant. Right. Um, this is YouTube clip, which I might put on um, OneNote as well so that you've got access to it. I fast forwarded through a bit of it, but it's a real, we're not going to watch all of it. But when you're doing your artist research page, page there's um, a few things that um, I want you to think about and look at. So hopefully, are you seeing now somebody's hand with a ruler? Brilliant. Right, let me know in a second if you haven't got sound. To start, and the first thing that I do is a one centimetre border around the double page. And I do this for presentation purposes. The second thing that we're going to be doing is our title. And the name of this double page is going to be Recording My Ideas. And that's important so everyone looking through your book, whether it be a teacher, an examiner, knows exactly what this page is about. Um, you could also have a subheading, which is observational drawing, because that's what you're going to be doing on this page. Now, for the lettering, you could do a use a stencil or maybe sticking the word uh, maybe from uh, a printer. But for today's purposes, we're going to be just using the three line method where I use the top and the bottom uh, for each letter. So it's nice and neat and tidy. And once I've done all the basic lines of the word, I start to duplicate each vertical in each letter. And that just makes it look a little bit more fancy and um, a little bit more presentable. Now here I've taken some pictures. Now pictures taking is quite difficult and you've got to prepare yourself that, you know, nothing's in the background. It's on a nice um, even surface and also you're taking it really close up. Now I've got some colorful images, but I've also printed off some black and white ones. This is gonna help me when I do my tone or drawing because it's a lot easier to draw things when they're in black and white. If you haven't got an image, feel free to use your phone and edit it and turn it to the black and white uh, filter. Now, for the first one, it's going to be a carbon transfer and you'll need a masking tape, a graphite stick or pencil and a photocopy. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is get the image and turn it over. And then you're going to use your pencil or graphite stick to put an even coating of graphite on the back of it. And the reason why I use a piece of graphite is just so it's, it's, it's quicker uh, as it's a larger surface area when using it. Now, as I turn it back over, I'm going to decide where I place it on my page. Now, this is really, really important on the presentation of your page, where you place it, because it indicates where. Right. So. Bear with me. OK, just to recap then. 
the bit about that there are some really useful tips in that video and i've put it on the chat so that you can um access it when you want and watch it at your own pace but the reason i did that was some of you the presentation is not your best your strength you need to think about your a3 piece of paper i've got a ruler here now if i was doing ian MacArthur, for example that's the title you would be giving this piece of work not observational drawing like he did but ian MacArthur. so i might decide lightly to draw myself a couple of lines either side the width of the ruler because it just makes life easier and then I might do another one for my lowercase. So if I can't use, if I can't use a stencil or if I can't trace the lettering, then at least my lettering here. Now I want to think about Ian MacArthur. I A I N M A C A T H U R. Twelve letters. All right. So if I mark my middle point, that will be about six letters. Remember, I've got to leave space. So I want my to think about it. And it's really, let me just move this on a little bit so you can see a little bit more. Um, it's really about planning. And that's what you've got to think about. So when you're doing your lettering, be looking at his work. I don't want to see any beautiful, fancy lettering. Um, I don't want to be seeing any beautiful fancy lettering because um, if you do um, fancy lettering, it's not really, you haven't really looked at Ian MacArthur's style. Now, today, if you haven't got your sketchbook because you haven't been and fetched it, what you could be doing is you could be doing all the research, okay, ready for when you get your sketchbook today or tomorrow. So that you can do the work. All right. I am going to give you today's lesson. But, but obviously today's lesson is only an hour. All right. And I will have taken a portion of that up. I've taken 20 minutes so far of your lesson. So. You may want to do a little bit more work because obviously you would normally have homework as well. I'm not really going to set homework, but it depends on the grade that you're going for and um, the grade that you're going for and the sort of commitment that you want to put in, the presentation you want to give. Remember, it all counts towards your um, GCSE grade. Now, I don't know if, how well you can see that. Let me just pin me because um, at the moment I'm not seeing... OK, can you all see my example? So you need to think of your lettering. It needs to be well presented. Am I doing it too light? Lauren can see it, but Mohammed can't. That's interesting. So. Today you are going to be doing um your artist research page you're going to spend some time looking at those websites that i have put on the powerpoint all right so you're going to open the powerpoint you're going to click on those links and you're going to read them all right um it's really important that you are reading and making notes on the information not just copying huge chunks because that doesn't always make sense um, and it doesn't always say what you want it to say either. OK. So. Um, what are you doing today? You're going to do your research. You're going to look at the writing frames. You're going to look at the links that I've put on. You're going to make notes on um, Ian MacArthur to start. So that I would make a start to your artist research page. You can fit. We're going to finish it in Wednesday's lesson and then on Wednesday's lesson, I'm not going to do um, the first half of the lesson will be left for you to be working on your artist research page. OK, the second half of the lesson, I'm then going to introduce the task that we're going to do based on Ian MacArthur's work. Does that make sense? 
So today's lesson, you are re reading about Ian MacArthur and making notes. Entirely up to you whether you want to do two pages or one page. Um, if you're doing two pages, just make sure there's nothing on the back of your work. So you may, may need to miss two pages out. You may decide that you can get enough work on one page. All right. Depends on the size of your writing, the way that you're going to present it. Can I just say when you are writing, I would also if I was going to do writing, I would also be just drawing myself a few. And I know you can't see these very well, but I'm just drawing myself a few lines so that I know that it's straight and it's well presented. OK, the other thing to do is to make sure, um, as I said before, that you've. Um, that you've actually spell checked your work. All right. So. I've put that link on there. I've got the link. Uh, you should be able to access the uh, Ian MacArthur PowerPoint. If you've got any problems with that, I will be online for the next half an hour. All right. Well, I'll be online all afternoon because I've got lessons. But um, if you've got any questions, please email me. But please, and I'm going to say this one last time, can we make sure that we are uploading our work onto assignments? All right. It needs to be uploaded onto your assignment. So when I click on here, when I will click on Sarah Graham style painting, it is there. Now, Mohammed, you said you'd done yours. That's why your name isn't there. You'll be on the return section. There you are. All right. Lauren, I haven't done yours yet because I was having a few issues with the um, computer this morning. Um, but the rest of you need to upload your work onto here. Ideally, you need to be using Microsoft Lens. There is also a link and it tells you how to upload your work on the class notebook. Anybody got any questions about what they need to do? Brilliant. So go away, research. Find out about Ian MacArthur, about his work. I don't want to know about Ian MacArthur, the politician, because there is one. All right. I want to know about Ian MacArthur, artist, his artwork. All right. Have a fab day. Well done for turning up on time. I'm here if you need any help. Next week, as I say, the lesson, I won't do the first of the, the first lesson. I will leave you to be working on this. The second part of the lesson, I will do teams to introduce the next piece of work. OK. Now we're doing a page on Ian MacArthur, his work. OK, not Ian MacArthur, Ian. All right. Anybody got any more questions? Fantastic. Off you go and do then. Bye, Adam. Like the Mickey Mouse. See him and I'll help. Aaron, you okay?